Wendy Williams, who's best known as a remarkable television host, businesswoman, media personality, author, and the star of The Wendy Williams Show, she recently made the move from her house, which she shared with her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, in Livingston, New Jersey, but has since treated herself to a glamorous bachelorette in Manhattan. Since her recent divorce to Kevin Hunter in 2019, after he fathered a child with another woman, the former couple had sold their home in New Jersey. Wendy went on to lease a new apartment in Manhattan's financial district in April 2019, shortly before she'd filed for divorce to Kevin. We'll take a look at Wendy's former $2 million home, plus living her best life in a new upgrade to a $4.6 million upgrade in the heart of New York. I'm telling you right now, this 15,000 bachelorette pad is a can't miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Perhaps best known for being the host of the popular television talk show, The Wendy Williams Show, since 2008, Wendy has built a net worth of $40 million and racks in about $10 million per year. In some years, she films 180 episodes, which would break down to a salary per episode of $55,000. Now, originally, Williams was offered a six-week trial of her own television talk show back in 2008. Following its positive feedback, Fox signed a deal to broadcast the show nationally. You see, kids, dreams do come true. <laughs> BT also picked up cable rights to broadcast the show at night and began airing the show internationally to 54 countries through BT International in 2010. Her show has been very successful, attracting 2.4 million daily viewers on average. During the 2015 November sweeps, the talk show was ranked at number one in the demographic of women 25 to 54 in the US. In February of 2019, Williams was forced to take some unprecedented time off for complications due to Graves' disease. My thyroid, my hyperthyroid, is attached also to Graves' disease. My doctor has prescribed, are you ready? Three weeks of vacation. Guest hosts, including Nick Cannon, filled in for Wendy until she returned on March 4th, 2019, but she has since made a comeback and is more fabulous than ever. I have a plethora of doctors, my medical team, and I'm happy to tell you that I am doing swell. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every day. We've previously done videos on Tristan Thompson and Jason Statham, so if you guys like those, please go ahead and check those out. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly so we can chat, and let me know whose house tour you want to see in the comments below. Let's get into the video. Wendy Williams' former home was in a small town of around 30,000 people in a predominantly Jewish community. The median household of this community was around $129,000. Nice little neighborhood if you ask me. The upscale property in Livingston, New Jersey was originally listed for $1.9 million. It was reduced to $1.7 million in 2020. This past spring, the price went down to $1.57 million and the house was recently sold for $1.47 million. So unfortunately, Wendy and Kevin took the loss in order to move on with their lives. Williams and her husband, Kevin Hunter, purchased the property in 2000 for $2.1 million. After their split, which was finalized in January, the two had placed a home on the market and agreed to split the proceeds from the home sale. This magnificent 5,700 square foot two-level mansion features five bedrooms and four baths. The two-level abode also features high ceilings, bold decor, and glitzy chandeliers. The finished basement adds an additional 2,500 square feet of living space. It includes a wet bar, access to the backyard. The entry features a grand foyer with a bearing ceiling and black and white marble flooring. A two-story rotunda mounts above a grand staircase. On the first floor, you'll find the family room with custom built-ins and a wood-burning fireplace, plus a library or home office with cherry bookcases. The main level also includes a formal dining room and an eaten kitchen with an oversized center island, gourmet kitchen with a granite high-end appliances, custom cabinetry, oversized center island, large walk-in pantry. The master suite comes with a marble master bath with jetted tubs, steam shower, two walk-in closets, and a private sitting room. The grounds also boast a sport court, patio, koi pond, and circular driveway. Now, unfortunately, the two ended up selling this mansion as Wendy's estranged husband Kevin Hunters had a long time affair with a massage therapist, was outed once again, and it gained major media attention. Kevin had previously cheated while Wendy was pregnant, and she spoke openly then that she was willing to give him a second chance. However, she had previously mentioned that the deal breaker would be a love child, and well, you know what happened next. A few weeks later, she hired her own security, filing for divorce at 6.30 a.m., and banning Kevin from her studio. The rest is history. Wendy revealed in a recent interview that her real estate agent convinced her to repaint the walls before listing it, as they refused to list it the way it was. Now, Wendy has a fascination with black walls. So the walls were, you guessed it, black when Wendy lived there. 
Wendy always said when her son Kevin Jr. was out of the house and she was free, she'd move back to the city, which brings Wendy to her newest dig in New York City. She may not have expected to happen this way, but she damn sure is living up the lavish life. Wendy's new apartment is located on a mid-level floor of the luxurious 64 floor in Manhattan's financial district. The new crib clocks at exactly 2,400 square feet, and the spread was most recently listed for 15,000 per month. This luxurious two-story unit has three bedrooms, one on the main level and two on the upper level, where Wendy's master bedroom has remarkable views of the Hudson River. Listing photos highlight the incredible 20-foot ceilings in both the living and dining rooms, along with a fairly modest kitchen facing a massive wall of windows. Also on the first floor is the first bedroom with an attached bathroom, while listing photos show a crisp white unit with contemporary art and furnishings. It's only a matter of time before Wendy reclaims the walls as black due to her love of black walls. Stairs between the foyer and the kitchen lead to the impressive upper level where a glass railing lines the top of the stairs for a view of the lower level. Second bedroom is at the top of the stairs and also has an attached bathroom. A small hallway houses the laundry room on the left and at the end of the hall is the master suite. Let me tell you, the master bath is absolutely gorgeous. It has a double sink vanity below a wall of mirrors next to the extra large tub and next to that is a separate walk-in shower. Between the master bath and the master bedroom is a similar walk-in closet with two rows of hanger space. I'm going out on a whim here and saying that Wendy is going to be using all of the closets. Then into the master bedroom where a king bed easily fits and floor to ceiling windows once again offer up glamorous views of the Hudson River. The open kitchen comes with custom stained walnut cabinetry, granite countertops with waterfall island, pantry and many appliances including a five burner gas cooktop, exterior vented exhaust hood, oven, speed oven, 42 side by side refrigerator, freezer, wine refrigerator and dishwasher. The third bedroom with full bath including waterworks bathtub is on its floor as well. The upper level leads to the master suite with an ensuite five fixture master bath features floating backlift marble vanity and radiant floor heating and electronic Toto toilet with built-in bidet. The second bath includes marble wet wall and floor as well as custom vanity. This home features a separate laundry room as well. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Wendy Williams' former home with Kevin Hunter and her new bachelorette pad in Manhattan. After seeing that nice little crib, what did you guys think? Was it better or worse than her former home with her ex? Personally, I think I would rather live in Manhattan. I need a nice place for myself, you feel me? Out of Wendy Williams' houses, which ones were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. So much of you guys have not subscribed. I need more than 95% of you guys watching who are not subscribed need to subscribe right now. Hit that notification bell for more notifications of when we post videos, and I'll see you guys next time.